As you know, I love a car with a good story and this one behind me has got an amazing one. Have a listen to this. This is a 1981 three-door Range Rover with that three and a half litre V8 in it. And as you can see, it is stood there very proudly in Greater Manchester Police livery. However, there is something a bit unusual about it. First thing, are these black squares. Usually this would have its jam sandwich livery, but this vehicle was one of 12 ordered in 1981 and was stolen by Radio Branch, where the custodian of said vehicle hand painted every single one of these squares to make it stand out. It stayed in the Radio Branch for about 10 years until 1991, where it moved over to do some PR work, which is where the current owner gets involved. He and the fleet manager had a bit of a disagreement and they managed to come to a sort of agreement on paper anyway to keep this vehicle on the fleet until the current owner left the force in 1997 but to make sure this vehicle didn't meet a sad demise he managed to get into the greater manchester police museum which is where it stayed until 2005 when it needed money spending on it which unfortunately the museum didn't have it was going to head over to auction where it could have very easily been bought by somebody and turned into a rally racer and been lost and forgotten but no the current owner worked with the museum to make sure it was saved being friendly with the museum all of the kit from inside the vehicle was taken out before it went to auction it was very securely put away in the basement of the museum the current owner then went to said auction where this was towed into the auction house and sold for a measly sum of just 315 pounds which was actually below the police reserve in order for it to go through the auction and be approved at that price they had to call the police and when they did they gave the name of the winning bidder and they accepted it. It then went through a full restoration where all of the interior was put back in and the exterior was restored to its former glory. Now inside it is full of beautiful period details. Nobody really wanted to drive this because that steering is not power assisted but have a look inside here. You've got a speedo here and if you look it's an increment of five but over here, a second speedo in increments of just one mile an hour. And this one was calibrated. And if you were caught speeding, if they paced you using this car, this would have been what they gave in evidence to prove how fast you were going. Right next to it, you might be thinking that that there is a radar gun. It's not, it's actually used to turn off the overhead gantry signs when they had the speed limits showing. And right next to it, there is the track system. Now, eagle-eyed amongst you will know that tracker came in in the mid 90s whereas this was in service in the 80s so why is it on the dashboard of this car well the owner of this car was involved with bringing tracker into the police service and as you can see this led light is still flashing away back in the 90s if you had a track system fitted to your car it would beep to sound how far away the car was and the led would show in which direction the car was placed also you'll find in here the police's first mobile phone back when these were first introduced this would have been the only mobile phone on service sat right next to an early breathalyzer test there's a little bit of the history of this car now you may recognize it as well because this car was actually used to make a very small model this one here and if you've got one of these ixo models this car was the one used to make this model here so there you are, it looks just like a police Range Rover, but who'd have known all of those little squares would hide so much history, and I have barely scratched the surface with some of the stories this car has to tell when it was in service. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you head over to YouTube, because all of the highlights from the Gaiden Land Rover Show are on there right now.